17-year-old American figure skater Ilya Malinin performed a quadruple axle in training a special jump, the dream of Yuzuru Hanyu, who does not finish in many ways for the sake of this element. What is its strange cult and complexity? Only two people came to the quadruple axle, and the Russian took the risk first. The quad axle is the last of the quads that no one has landed successfully at competitions. All the other quads have been performed for a long time, however, it took 28 years to master the program. If the quadruple sheepskin coat was made in 1988, then the first Ritberger and Flip were weighted until 2016. But the quadruple axle is a different story. At the competitions, only two skaters tried to conquer him, our, and now American, Arter Dmitriev and the Japanese Yuzuru Hanyu. Dmitriev tried the axle for the first time at the 2018 Russian Grand Prix, fall, downgrade to triple, then there were more runs, but unsuccessful. Arthur tried super jumping at the 2022 US Championships, in the fall of 2021, he changed his citizenship, and there, perhaps, the best attempt of his career came out he stood on his feet, touching the ice with his hand. Hanyu also got close to the quadruple axle several times, the last one was at the 2022 Olympics in Beijing, a short turn and a fall probably cost a medal. However, Hanyu is the first figure skater to have a quad axle attempt recorded at international tournaments, albeit unsuccessful. After the rental, the Japanese was proud of himself, despite the fourth place, I think today I was expanding the boundaries. No matter how difficult it was for me, I want to say a big thank you to everyone who has high hopes for me. I've been doing a lot better with the quad axle lately. Yes, I didn't realize this dream at this Olympics, but I worked very hard for this. If I had refused the quadruple axle, I could have made a more expensive cascade, but the attempt of the quadruple axle became my pride. It makes me feel more fulfilled. That's why I went for it. Is the jump really that difficult? Yes, several factors affect it. Firstly, the approach to the axle is facing forward, unlike all other jumps. This means that he has half a turn more, and then the quadruple axle is in fact a jump of 4.5 turns, which is closer to the fifth. Secondly, the quadruple axle is not very relevant at competitions, the risks are too great, and the return in the protocol is too small. Its base cost is only 12.5 points, and, for example, the quadruple Lutz has only 1 point less 11.5. And this is strange, because the difference in points between triple and quadruple jumps is usually about twice, or even more, but for some reason, not in the case of axle. The base cost of a triple axle is 8 points, a quadruple 12.5, although logically and conscientiously, it should be at least 16 points. Perhaps this was done on purpose, so that the skaters did not chase an incredibly difficult jump and did not get injured. Yes, the quadruple axle excites few people, only two people tried to do it at competitions, Malinin, perhaps, will become the third. And that's partly why no one has managed to jump it so far, there were too few attempts. Perhaps the only reason why a figure skater goes for a quadruple axle is a chance and ambition to go down in history. The first performer of such a difficult jump will be remembered forever, even if it does not bring awards and titles. Is a quad axle possible? Miss Hind believes that no, Buterskaya, yes, and Rukovitsin sees no incentive to master there is an opinion that the perfect quadruple axle cannot be done now, even if you try a lot. Alexei Mishin thinks so, I want to put the dots over the eye right away. With the current level of development of physical qualities of a person, during my lifetime, no one will do a quadruple axle cleanly and well. To move to this qualitatively new level, you need to take speed skates, release the heel, so that they squish, and then world records will soar into the sky. Instead of jumping high with scissors or a flip, you need to jump a flowsberry flop. We need a new idea, a new technique, what it is, I do not know. But the world champion Maria Buterskaya thinks that everything is possible. It seems to me that it is real. Boys have been jumping triple axle for a very long time, this is history. We need to improve. It still doesn't turn out to be four and a half turns. If you jump correctly, it is, in principle, four turns. Personally, I really loved this jump. 
I jumped a double axle, I got a triple and a half axle. I was initially properly trained, and it was easy for me. With good technique, it should work out. Especially the guys with their training and physics. Coach Evgeny Rukovitsin believes that the cost of the quadruple axle should be increased. In general, I would like to see not changes in one direction or another, but the movement of figure skating forward, towards progress. But when, for example, we see that an axle in four and a half turns costs only 12. Five points, what kind of progress, what kind of incentive to study this jump can we talk about? This is an element of cosmic complexity, not that it can be performed, but at least a few can try it on ice. Yuzuru Hanyu, in particular, tries, good luck to him. But the risk of going for this element at its cost of 12.5 points is simply not justified. And in order for others to go to the quadruple axle, you need to motivate them with high scores. The current trend of changes in the rules, I have a feeling, may lead to the fact that there will be fewer quadruple jumps. Malinin may be the first to manage a quadruple axle at the competition. And here is a new attempt of the quadruple axle, this time from the American Ilya Malinin. However, so far only in training, but successfully. Olympic champion Alexei Yagudin is delighted with the jump, in my understanding, vision of the situation, this is the first ever purely mundane, absolutely twisted quadruple axle in figure skating. Not just an attempt to show an element not brought to mind at the Olympics, which was not even close to training, as it was with Yuzuru Hanyu, but a fully executed jump. Alexei Nikolovich Mishin said that there would be no such complex elements in his lifetime, and I am glad that this is not the case. And I want to congratulate Ilya as the first in the world who made a clean quadruple axle, even though he is still in training. As for his prospects, I would like him to add success in competitions to the title of the king of training. He has everything for this. Malinin is 17 years old, he was born in the USA, his parents moved to America from Russia and Uzbekistan in the early noughties. Ilya had a shock season, he lost only to Nathan Chen at the US Championship, became the ninth at the Adult World Cup, and won the junior one. However, Malinin was not taken to the Olympics, although according to the sporting principle, he was included in the composition, instead of him, the federation chose the proven Vincent Zhu and Jason Brown. Malinin has all kinds of quads in his arsenal, although Rittberger has not been to the competition yet, and in training he jumps cascades from two quads at once. Ilya loves jumping, in this he is somewhat similar to our Alexandra Trusova. His nickname in social networks is QUADG0D, God of the Quad. Perhaps Malinin is exactly the figure skater who will enter the axle in four turns and at competitions, perhaps very soon. He will try to make it in order to go down in history, even if these attempts will damage the result, this is clearly in his character.